Welcome back to my Five to Try series. This series, its purpose is to give you a focused place to start to explore homeschool curriculum if for some reason you need or want to change for next school year. If you are new here, welcome. I am Trisha. I'm a homeschooling mom to three kids and we are finishing our 10th year of homeschooling. I can't believe I've been homeschooling for a decade. That seems so long. Um, as I mentioned, the series, I've already put up a history one and math. Today, as you know from the title, I am doing language arts. And really the purpose, as I said, is to give you a focus place to start. The homeschool curriculum market, I mean, there are so many things out there. I don't have to tell you, as a home, fellow homeschooling mom, you already know that. And it can just be hard to know where, where to even look or begin if you have a need to change. So that's what this series is. If you have um, a suggestion that you really enjoy for one of the topics that I've already done, please leave it on that video. And if you have one for a topic that I haven't done, let me know because um, some of these suggestions are gathered from viewers like you. I feel like PPS saying that, um, but they really have. They've come from, well, come from my viewers. So. If you have a suggestion, please leave it down in the comments. Um, so language arts, I considered trying to break this down into like writing and whatever, but it just got difficult. So um, I just kind of grouped them all together. Some of the programs in this series I have tried and I will leave reviews if I have links to them. If I um, have not, but most of them I have not tried. So, but the first one in this one is Analytical Grammar and Analytical Grammar Junior and I have tried both of these. My daughter is finishing up Analytical Grammar and my fifth grader did the junior version back in the fall. What I really like, one of the things I really like about this program is number one, um, she doesn't think you need to be doing this every day starting from first grade. I like that. Number two, I like that um, the the regular version is designed so that you, it's divided into three different seasons, and it's designed so that you don't have to do it all in one year. You can do one season in seventh grade, one in eighth grade, one in ninth grade, or however you want to do it. Um, we are doing it over, we did it over eighth and ninth grade because that's when I found it. I really like it. Each day there are four to five lessons per week and then each season it varies um, somewhere between I think 10 and 18 weeks for each of those. There is a um, book report section like an additional one to go along with it if you want to practice if you have a child who needs practice with writing and there's different types of book reports in it. Um, there are also versions like extra practice for high school to keep up with the reinforcements and they have different topics. So there's like a British literature and American literature, those type of things. The junior version is the same material in pretty much the same format, but um, at a more basic level. So if you want to introduce a middle schooler to it before you introduce the regular version, you can do that. Um, I do not have a video about this yet. I'm going to try to do that this summer, but I really do enjoy it. It has been a good fit for our family. Um, and it's been especially good fit for my daughter, who is much like me, and as much as I did grammar, it elementary school I did not really understand it into middle school and then it all suddenly clicked and that's what happened with her whether it's the program or the age I don't know but but it all clicked for her then so analytical grammar and analytical grammar junior and the next one is a program that I have tried that was recommended to me by someone over on Instagram and it is the spelling program moving online spelling program from Moving Beyond the Page. You may know them as a um, unit study curriculum provider, but they also have some online components and spelling is one of them. 
their price is fantastic. It is, you get a 30-day free trial for your family, not just one kiddo, and then a year subscription is $25 for your family. So you cannot beat that price, um, other than free, but for a family spelling program, that is a great price. The concept is just that um, your kid really just needs to practice the things that they need to practice. So um, you take a, a test at the beginning of the week. Any of the, of the words that they get correct gets moved to the back of the list. It just kind of gets ma marked as mastered in their program. And it'll come up occasionally, but the ones that they missed, you're supposed to have your child work on them throughout the week, and then the next time they take the test, those words will come up as well as the new words. So there are, and if they miss, any words that they continue to miss, they'll continue to get repeated. But the ones that they've mastered will only come up very occasionally to keep, you know, uh, kind of con uh, make sure that it's mastered. But the words that they don't master, they just keep working on them until they do. And I love this approach. It has been so far a good fit for both of my boys. We'll see long term. We have been using it oh, almost two months now. Um, but so far, I really like it. Next one is for literature. And these are the Glencoe Literature Guides. And they are free. They are fantastic. They are mostly like an upper elementary, middle school, and then some high school guides. But um, the variety, there's a huge variety. Um, most of the books that are going to come up in typical suggested reading lists are going to be on these. And they will, each one of course varies a little bit, but they're broken down by like a set of chapters. There's um, reading comprehension, vocabulary work, multiple choice, some writings. They include like author um, biographies. Um, some summaries along the way. I just think they're a really great way to, um, if you are looking for something more formal than just giving your child something to read, this is a really good option. There are paid ones like Progeny Press, and I think Memoria Press has one, has literature guides and stuff. And those are fine, there's nothing wrong with those, but these are free. <laughs> I think we've used several of them and they've been really good. My middle kiddo will be in sixth grade next year, and so I'll probably do one or two next year for him, and then seventh grade, and then eighth grade will kind of add to it. Um, but that way, he's kind of preparing himself for high school. That's what I do with my daughter, and it was a, it worked well for us. Um, just kind of a focused way to study literature books. So let's see, that was Glencoe. Okay. Um, Evan Moore, you may know them, um, if you've ever been to a, into a teacher supply store, you've probably seen these. Um, they are, well, first of all, they cover just about any topic you want. You can get um, reading comprehension, vocabulary, spelling, um, grammar, handwriting, etc. What I really like about them, and we've used a couple, is that they're broken down by day, so it's like a small section here practice these for today day two day three day 45 some of them will have quizzes each week as well some of them don't so it kind of depends on the thing but they are open and go they are student directed so it's something that you don't have to if you're looking for something not so parent directed these might be a great fit for you you can get ebook versions on their website and then you can buy the online or the print versions, teacher stores, um, Amazon, their website, etc. Rainbow Resource carries some, I believe. Um, and they're just they're just really good. And if you have an area where you know, you have a language arts curriculum mostly, but you need it, it lacks in one area, this might be a great way to like, focus just on that one. Because of the price, though, I'm not sure I would want to 
use them for every area of language arts, I mean, they're gonna add up. But it depends on what your family's needs are. But I, I do like them. They're just great, kind of straightforward, get it done program. They also have them in math. Um, there's history, there's geography. For math, last year with my second grader, I used them at a lower or ver lower level than what he was able to do because he wanted independent work but he was working at math at a higher level so this was a great thing for me just to leave at his desk and every day he could work through it easily and um, he, he was proud that he could do independent work it was a good review for him while I still did the regular the math at my level so yeah they are divide they are done by grade levels so Whatever grade you need, there you go. And writing and rhetoric. This is a program that I have talked about in another video. And I have the review over my blog as well. I really like this. This is by Classical Academic Press. They start at like a third or fourth grade level. They say the first book should be used grade three or four. I had one who started in third and then I didn't find this until my daughter was in fifth grade. So we started her with the three at fifth grade level each and then it goes through high school each one kind of focuses on a different area or a different kind of writing um, so like fable writing narrative writing um, comparison description thesis great the last book is a mock trial level so um, I really though like them they have great reading in them and then your student kind of plays with with writing from that story in different ways so there'll be some questions some analysis questions then they'll have them do their like they'll give them a section and say you know rewrite it in this way um, they'll practice they'll take part of it to use um, practice with like comparisons and adjectives and adverbs all based around quality writing so um, I've had two kiddos use this um, we're taking a break from it right now I expect to go back to it next year um, but yeah they're just really good really good solid programs each one is designed to be done in about a semester um, so two books a year. Those are our language ones. Leave me a suggestion down below. I'll see you over in the next video.